Today's topic, garden carts. As you can see in front of me, I have here two of the John Deere branded carts. Um, I have on this side the 8Y and over here the 10PX. So both of these carts seem to be awesome. This one I've had now, I've uh, used it for a season. Uh, it's a pretty good cart, but now that I have a bigger mower, I wanted a bigger cart, um, a little bit heavier duty cart. And uh, we'll get into some of those reasons why um, I wanted to go to a bigger cart over this 10Y. So uh, yeah, uh, a couple things about them. Um, this one I believe has a 350 pound weight rating. This one has a 650 pound. So with the 10PX version, you get a lot heavier weight rating. Now there also is a regular 10P version um, along with a smaller 7P version. Um, and then there's also a much bigger 17P version um, of all of these poly carts. Um, another model I believe is like the 16Y or 16, 16 something. It's a swivel version. Um, you can swivel it and then dump from the side. Um, something interesting. Uh, I don't believe a lot of the ones that do that fancy stuff though have higher weight ratings. Usually, including the 10PX, um, I think a little bit lower weight rating than what the regular 10P would have. So the ones that are just standard, rear dump only, no kind of crazy functions, um, you're gonna have higher weight ratings, but uh, even something like this is gonna be a higher rate, weight rating than the Y. Um, so about them, this one, I believe is made by AgriFab for John Deere. Um, so the build of it is gonna be a little bit different than what you see on this one, which is made by Brindley. So of the smaller ones, the 7P, this 8Y, I wanna say those are all uh, AgriFab. And then when you jump up to the 10s, the 16, the 17, um, those poly carts are all gonna be made by Brindley. There is a material difference that I saw on John Deere's website. Uh, these ones are advertised as being made of high density polyethylene. Um, and then these ones are advertised as being made with polypropylene. Now I know when it comes to certain chemicals and stuff, high density polyethylene, yeah, polyethylene is what you want to use for any time of uh, chemical that can degrade plastics, you know, lighter weight plastics. So that kind of got me wondering, well, in one of these carts that's polypropylene, is that going to stand up chemical wise? Um, you know, if you have, you know, weed killers or, you know, anything that you're carting around your yard, you know, any kind of liquid chemical, like what's it going to do to these carts? Is it going to degrade it? And I asked this question to John Deere and uh, I didn't get much of an answer back. They told me to contact my local dealer. I did that. Uh, they couldn't get any specs of any kind. Um, I just could not get any information out of anybody on uh, stuff like that. So that's just a detail, you know, that I wondered about, a question I asked uh, that I couldn't really find too much on. Now I will say there is a build quality difference in these. So this 8Y, um, it does seem heavy um, for the most part. Uh, to be able to carry 350 pounds, it seems like it's built more than sturdy enough. Um, it does have some nice features like the molded plastic on the inside. Um, I'll show you it in a second, but it actually has molded like hexagon shapes where the bolts go through. So you're not going to be getting caught on any kind of bolt um, that holds the bed down to the frame. Whereas on this one, uh, it has uh, button head bolts on it with just a flathead uh, screwdriver slot in it. But they're not covered by anything, so that could uh, get in the way, like say you're, I don't know, carting your kids around just for fun. Um, you know, they might you know, catch their knee on something on one of these uh, flatheads and I don't know, maybe get a cut or something. Something to consider if you cart your kids around a lot. Um, whether it's a deal breaker, I don't think so. But anyway, the build on this one's really nice. Uh, when you compare it to something like one of the Brindley carts though, uh, this one is definitely built heavier. The plastic on it is clearly heavier. Um, I'm going to say you're looking at probably about an eighth inch thick um, on the mold on this one. And this one's probably double that, maybe at least a sixteenth more. It just it feels a lot more sturdy. Um, 
So that's nice about these carts. And there again, you have a higher weight rating and not much bigger of a cart. You're gonna need it to be heavier built. So uh, of course, eight wide, you're looking at eight cubic feet. The 10, you're looking at 10 cubic feet. So not too much of a difference in volume, uh, but you can see there's a little bit different size of the cart itself. Uh, some other things, the wheels, obviously the wheels on the 10 are going to be a bit bigger. Um, you're going to find bigger wheels on all these bigger carts. Um, these wheels work just fine. There's nothing wrong with this cart. Just a little bit lighter duty. Um, some other cool features. When you get into these bigger carts, you actually have stake pockets along the side. So if you wanted, you could build uh, some wooden stake sides uh, and expand your capacity a little bit if you're you know, moving brush around or like I get into a lot of, uh, you know, bags full of grass that I throw in here and then cart out to my truck. Um, so having that little bit of extra height you know, can help, you know, put a little more uh, of a load in the cart. So uh, I'm going to now cut and we'll talk about some specific features of each of these carts. Now this ain't wide cart you're going to find a uh, at your home improvement stores. Um, they're pretty readily available. If you're lucky, you might even be able to buy a 100 series mower and they might actually throw one of these in for free if you buy the mower. So these can be had pretty much anywhere. Um, they run about $200. Um, so they're not super expensive. And I mean, if you're gonna have a John Deere mower, you might as well get a John Deere branded cart. It just looks good. Um, one of the key selling points about this one is it's a convertible. So you can see there's not much of a tow hitch sticking out right now or a drawbar. Um, it's actually folded under and you can see there's a handle on the front. So you can actually use this as a two wheeled wheelbarrow if you so choose. So if you're someone that maybe doesn't have a whole lot of room or doesn't want a ton of equipment, uh, but you want a wheelbarrow and you want to have a garden cart, this might be a really good option as it can do both. So, in order to use that feature, there's a pin down here on the side. You can pop that out. Cotter pin and then just a shear pin there. And then, when you tilt it back, you can fold out the toe hitch. Then, Put your pin back in. You might have to mess with it on the other side a little. Put your cotter pin back in. And now you have the cart in a towable mode behind your mower. Um, this could also be used on a four-wheeler. I know one of my buddy's four-wheelers, uh, it doesn't have like a two-inch receiver hitch. It actually just has like a piece of metal coming out the back with a hole in it where you could either put a ball or a hitch like this. You can put a pin through it. So pretty versatile cart. Versatile. Is that the word? I don't know. You can do a lot with this cart. Um, so like I said, somebody that you know doesn't need a high weight rating uh, and wants to be able to get a lot of use out of this, uh, this is definitely a good route to go. Um, some other features there, if you lift up on this lever, sorry, there's a pin in here locking it. If you pull that pin out, you're going to then be able to use your dump feature and the cart will dump rearward. Uh, I can't say I use this feature too much. I mostly had it locked down. I didn't do any kind of like mulching or you know dirt work that required me to be dumping this thing out. Um, but it is a pretty handy feature. Uh, something pretty cool. One thing that you may notice that is common among all of the poly parts is they will run full dump. So I don't know how well you can see, but there's actually a lift at the back of this, and I'm going to show you. There's a lip at the back, and if something comes down here, it's going to get caught in this lip. It's not going to dump all the way out, and it's going to require you to get in there with a shovel or a broom or something 
and get that out. And that's something that's solved in the PX version, which we'll get to. Give, I'm not sure if there's a difference yet, but I want to check it out. A measurement of the axle on this. So these things have, I would say, a fairly heavy duty axle. It's a solid piece of steel. Um, and this one measures about five eighths of an inch. So five eighths, five eighths inch thick uh, axle on there. Pretty good. Um, as for the wheels, uh, nice wheels, it's a pneumatic tire. Um, and then there are no bearings in it. There's no grease fitting. Uh, it's just a, a plastic bushing. Uh, if you wanted, you could grease these. I don't see why not. Um, and then it's just held on by a powder pin. <sighs> Pretty simple there. Now I am happy with uh, how this cart performed for me. Like I said, the low, I think 350 pound weight rating um, is not a whole heck of a lot. So if you are doing anything, uh, you know, having a few bags of grass in there did get kind of heavy. Um, but if you were uh, going to be doing any kind of heavy gravel work, um, you might want to you might want to step up a little bit. But just you know, your normal gardening, carrying flowers around all your flower uh, beds, you know, what have you, this will work great. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, oh, let me show you the inside of the bed. So the inside of the bed here, you can see what I was talking about. You have plastic molded up over the heads of those uh, bolts there. And then these ones are recessed down in. So you're not going to, uh, you're not going to catch anything on there. Uh, say you have a bag of fertilizer or dirt or, you know, what have you. Uh, you don't need to worry about getting it caught on those and having it rip the bag open. Um, that's definitely something nice that I feel like I'm probably going to miss on the 10PX. So uh, now let's check out the 10PX. Here we are at the 10PX. I gotta say, off the bat, my first impression of this thing, uh, it is definitely in a whole different ballpark uh, from the 8Y over there. Uh, this thing definitely feels like it's built sturdier. Uh, having a solid draw bar under here as opposed to the folding one, um, this thing definitely feels uh, built quite a bit heavier. Um, it's pretty nice. Along with that, simple things like the tongue here, this piece of steel is heavier than what is on the 8Y. Uh, and that, of course, is just because it has, you know, a higher weight rating. So, uh, pretty cool there. As I mentioned before, it has stake pockets in it. Um, that's a you know a great feature. I may end up building some stakes for this. Uh, that would be pretty neat to have. Um, now onto the cool feature about this, the PX. So the X designation uh, means that this will be a full dump version. So this is the only full dump polymer cart that John Deere offers. Um, and that's pretty cool in the fact that if you do have anything in it that you need to dump out, you can fully dump this back to where you don't got to worry about this lip uh, like you did on the Y or any of the other garden carts. How much I'll use this feature, I'm not know. I kind of got this out of just availability. I was at my dealer and I saw I had one there. And uh, rather than trying to order just the regular 10P like I had my eye on, um, this one being right there already assembled, I was like, sure, why not? Um, with that, there are a couple things that I think I'm going to need to look at and make sure it was assembled properly. Um, under here, the uh, lever to dump it and then also the lever for the full dump. Um, I don't know how well they were actually put together. It's not the smoothest when it comes to locking back into its regular down position. Um, so that's something I'll have to look for. Uh, while we're under here, I'll check out the measurement on the axle. And I moved my tape measure. So this axle also looks like it's going to be 5 eighths. So you have the same axle here, 
Um, so I'm going to say these, this axle uh, for both parts is probably not going to be the weak point here. Um, I definitely think the weak point is just strictly the bed, the bed quality, and then along with that, uh, the frame. Um, the frame on this looks to be pretty similar. However, there is some more supporting structure here than on the other part. So uh, I think that's where you're going to see. And then, of course, the tow bar. The tow bar is a big part. This isn't hinged at all. It's a solid piece formed around. So you have quite a bit more strength in a single piece tow bar. So now yeah, I'll show you the dump function. So if we spin this around. There is a lever here that you first release. This is going to be your single dump. So similar to the 8Y part, uh, it's going to dump back. And at this point, you're going to have to empty it out. There's a little bit of a lip right there. Um, that material will get caught on a little bit at least. And you'll have to dump that out. Now, if you want to go further than that and completely dump this thing out, there's another lever over here that you push up. And then it releases. And then this whole thing is hinged at the back, and you can completely dump it out like so. As I said, I don't know how often I'm going to use this, but uh, it is a pretty cool feature to have. And uh, I don't think there's any videos currently on YouTube about this cart, so I figured, hey, why not be the first one to make a video about it. And now you'll probably see what I was talking about, about this maybe not being assembled 100% correctly. See, I slammed it down and it didn't want to latch. So, I guess you just have to manually push the handle back down. There's a spring under here, so I don't know if that's just not done correctly or what. I feel like that should just automatically latch. Um, that's just something I'll have to look into. And then from there, getting back to regular towable position. Um, there's a groove in the front here that I would think this little foot pedal would ride along um, to latch, but it doesn't. It's off to the side. So it pushes it down weird. And I think it's just the alignment's a little off, but it doesn't go all the way down. You almost gotta like fight it and pull that lever back up and then it's locked in. So it can be locked in and if I don't plan on really dumping this, it's not gonna be a problem for me. Um, but that's just something that you may wanna pay attention to if you're worried about dumping this. You just wanna make sure that this bed is secured uh, before you continue on. So uh, I think that is about all I have now. Um, if you are looking into a bit nicer of a cart I definitely will say go with these slightly bigger models um, I stuck with the 10 because I'm starting to accumulate a lot of these different tow behind uh, attachments and stuff for these mowers and I'm starting to worry about space so I as much as I wanted the 17p I didn't want to go that big um, and uh, that thing just looks massive compared to these 10s I liked the size of the 8Y. I figured just a little bigger would be just about right. And having the higher weight rating would be nice. Fertilizer bags get, you know, heavy when you get a few of them. Uh, I also have a wood pellet stove. So being able to cart wood pellets from my truck back to where I store them, that would be nice. I'll be able to load this thing up, you know, to full capacity, whereas the 8Y maybe would not have handled that quite as well. So uh, all in all, the 8Y, definitely a great car. I've had experience with it. I would recommend one to anyone, any day, if they're looking for a budget cart um, and they want some cool function to it. Uh, if you do want to be able to do a bit more work with it, I think these are going to be the way to go. I'm excited to use this thing. Uh, I can't wait to use it, and uh, I'll definitely uh, make some more videos with opinions once I actually get used. So for now, my opinion uh, later on will uh, definitely get we'll get some good uh, some good use and you know a good review over it so thanks for watching of course if you have any questions about uh, any of these parts I'll do what I can about the why I'm gonna be selling that though I already have a buyer uh, so I won't be able to do too much on that if I don't have it right in front of me to say but I'll do what I can uh, but any questions about this cart 
I'll uh, definitely be able to answer. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.